To find out where all the British cockles have gone, I've asked Matt to head somewhere famous for them, the Burry Inlet in Wales. I'm meeting Glyn Hyman, whose family have cockled here since the 1860s. Morning. Morning, Glyn. You? you want to do some cockling this morning? Yes, I do. I, are you going out here? Yeah, straight out. Right, OK. Let's get going. Let's go. The industry dates back centuries in this area, and though horses and carts have been replaced by 4 by 4s the method of cockle picking remains exactly the same. Right. Here we go, Matt. Let's do a bit of cockling. Here's the cockles. They're just underneath the sand. Uh, okay, okay. See? So there it is. Little things, aren't they? Yeah, they're small. Mm -hmm. We've got a problem out here. The cockles don't grow any bigger than this. They get to about 13, 14 mil and then they die. 90% of them die. Really? And uh, we've had this problem since 2005. Many theories exist to explain the decline across Europe of the cockle, including weather, pollution, loss of habitat, predators and disease. The problem has been particularly severe here in the Burry Inlet. The number of collectors has dropped from 55 to 35, and what was once a year-round job now happens for just 12 weeks. This was the, the centre of cockle industry, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. The... So where do you see it going? Uh, I think we would probably be the last of the cockle gatherers. Like, you know really? I mean? We clean on every year for hope, like, you know what I mean? Hoping that something's going to change here, but it's just not happening, like, you know what I mean? So does this explain the lack of British cockles in our shops? Around here, it's a bit of a sorry state of affairs, but is that the case all over? No, no, you've got a thriving uh, cockle fishery up in, um, in the Thames and the Wash. So it's thriving over there? Yeah. But struggling here? Yeah, yeah. Matt's filled me in on the cockle situation in Wales and told me the industry is doing better off the coast of Norfolk. Jim, Greg, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Greg. Now, I'd love to go cockling, any chance? Absolutely, please step aboard. Right. To see this for myself, I'm heading out on patrol with Greg from Inshore Fisheries and Conservation. I've always wanted to be a sailor. <laughs> so, tell me, what are you doing here? You're not catching cockles, then, are you? No, we're here to regulate the fishery, so we're making sure the fishermen are playing by the rules, essentially. So can the fishermen just turn up and fish anywhere? Well, no. Each year we determine which areas of the wash are going to be open. They're the areas with the densest cockles. That's where the best places to fish are. Well, should we have a little peek? Absolutely, yeah. I want to know how the fishermen catch their cockles. From what I can see, the boats just seem to be going round in circles. Are they mad? This looks very different to the method in Wales. Maybe one of these spinning fishermen can help. Well, tell us what you're doing here, because all I can see is you're just having a bit of fun going around in a circle. Prop wash and cockles. Prop wash? What's prop wash? What we do is go around the circle for about 35 to 40 minutes. Yeah. And as the water drop, the boot propeller pushes the sediment away and leaves a ridge, like a half ridge of cockles. So, you, you, you use the boat yeah. to wash all the sand away? Yeah, basically, yeah. So the power of the boat's propeller clears the top layer of sand, and as the tide goes out, it reveals the cockles. After we've done that, we just drop the anchor, obviously, wait for the water to go and touch wood. The cockles are laying there ready for us to gather. Wow, so you're left high and dry in the sand? Absolutely. Wow! The fishermen drop anchor and wait for the tide to completely recede. When it's at its lowest, they clamber onto the seabed and start gathering the cockles. It's a race against time to get their catch back on board. In just 35 minutes, the tide will start to turn and bring the cockle collecting to an end. But the fishermen have to wait a full 12 hours for the tide to be high enough for the boats to set sail and head home. Eventually, back on dry land, the catch is coming in. What has been the quota for, for their catch? The normal, the normal quota for a handwork fishery is two tonnes a day. This year, because the total allowable catch is so high, we're allowing three tonnes a day because there's a lot more cockles to take this year. So you've actually increased the quota. Does that happen often? Stocks have fluctuated over the years, um, but this year we've got over uh, 8,500 tonnes, whereas previous years, a good year would be Two and a half, three thousand tons. That is incredible. But this is this is a very unusual year. Now that's definitely a sight to warm the cockles. 